AITA for kicking out my parents and sister for trying to control my life. Throw away account because I don't want my family members friends to find out. I 22 have moved out of my parents house last year to a condo that is 30 minutes away. I did this because I hate living with them as they're very controlling and like to force my siblings and me to follow their beliefs. My oldest sister 24 f is like my parents that is very traditional and controlling. My parents never approved of us getting a boyfriend. They believe in an arranged marriage and prohibit us from engaging in premarital sex. But I don't care about this bullshit. I've had boyfriends behind their backs and only my youngest sister 16 f knows about it as we are very close. I have a boyfriend 23 m whom I have been going out for 8 months now. Yesterday I invited him over to hang out at my home and we had sex. My oldest sister decided to visit me out of nowhere and caught us. It pissed me off so much that she visited without notifying me. She then started screaming at Emmy and called me a whore for sleeping around. I tried to make her understand that it was my boyfriend and even if I was sleeping around, it was none of her business. She didn't like my answer and proceeded to call my parents to snitch on me. Well, they were pissed and my mom started going on about how I committed a sin I am an atheist but she doesn't respect it and forced me to break up with my bf my dad even started saying how it was time they find a groom for me so that i would behave i kicked them out of my house and told them to only talk to me if they're willing to apologize to my bf and me for disrespecting us my mom is now trying to guilt trip me by stating that she's my mom and has sacrificed a lot to raise me i know that she sacrificed a lot but i am not too fond of the way she's treating me i am 22 not 12 they're still pissed and have spammed my phone my cousins heard about it and forced me to apologize to my parents and sister for kicking them out and yelling at them. I refused to do that and block them. My youngest sister and BF are on my side. She even called out my oldest sister for being a nosy bitch. But nobody's listening to her as she's not an adult. So am I the asshole for standing up for myself and my BF? Edit when everyone asked if I was an Indian. And the answer to that is yes. I am an Indian but not from India. And my sister got into my house with a spare key I gave her. And I trust her to use it with my knowledge but since she breached the trust i have taken away the key from her and my parents i don't think i can go and see with my parents but thank you everyone for your opinion and take on this issue i definitely will set some distance between us and try to make them understand but if they still try to be difficult we'll have to go and see for a few weeks to make them realize i am legit about this thank you again as for my youngest sister she can't live with me now even though i would love to take her in but she's also planning to move in with me once she turns 18 my parents are unaware of this NTA. My mom is now trying to guilt trip me by stating that she's my mom and has sacrificed a lot to raise me. Your mom doesn't own you BC she raised you. She decided to have kids, so it's her job to raise them. Her raising you is the bare ducking minimum. Your whole family sounds toxic and controlling ASF. Who you sleep with is none of their business, and they don't get to decide what you do with your life. You're an adult. NTA. You don't live in their home. You don't have to follow their rules. Also, why is your sister just walking into your place unannounced and without knocking? Does she have a key? I'd recommend NC all around, except for your little sister. She sounds awesome for sticking up for you, while knowing it's going to make life harder for her. NTA and you should go and see if you can. Also just wanted to let you know the wording of this is a little confusing when you say someone forced you. It implies that you have done what they forced you to do. If you did not break up with your boyfriend or apologize to your parents, the correct wording would be try to force me to or just simply told me to. NTA. Not at all. You've been working hard at breaking free from a cycle that you know in your heart is toxic. You know it's not a life you want for yourself. You have made great strides. You have your own place, your own life, and a boyfriend you're happy with. It sounds like you and your little sister are doing great things for yourselves. It's hard to disconnect from family. But this is an instance where going no contact would likely prove beneficial. You broke away from their indoctrination and are asking if you're the asshole for standing up against it. The answer is an overwhelming answer. No you aren't. Live your life according to you and your joy. NTA. What are your safe options? If you are in the US, taking a hard line on your parents' behavior is fine, provided you have the resources to care for yourself and keep yourself safe, which you do. Elsewhere, perhaps not so much there are places, I know, where the law comes down hard on women who have premarital or extramarital sex, and looks the other way when families do harm to those women in the name of honor, even in the US. However, while the law will punish families that abuse women who defy them, it is a lot harder to prevent abuse before the family 
fact, police don't prevent crime, they show up after the fact, or, if you're lucky, they may get there during and be able to intervene, but it's not something to bet your life on, do keep a record of what is going on, and if they do anything to harm you, in case you need to seek a restraining order or other legal protection, it also sounds as if your family members have keys to your place, if your sister could catch you rather than having to wait by the door until you answered, change the locks, or get your landlord to change the locks, or at least put on a chain you can fasten from the inside, this does not mean keep them in your life if you think they might be or become unsafe to you, it means that, while you have the right to set boundaries in them, you need to be prepared and take extra measures for safety depending on both their natures and the context of the culture and law in the place that you are at, please listen to this, also, be aware that some family members may ask you to meet to talk this out, then take you and force you to marry or they will hurt you, please, be worried and very careful, I do not know what country you are from, I just know that in some countries you are an adult and you can do as you wish. In other countries, you are an adult and you better do what your family wants or you will be hurt or even K. And there is a whole range and only you know if that possibility exists. Peace. Your big sister is a B. Th. If there is physical danger to you, talk to your little sister to warn her to keep her head down until she can get out safely. NTA. And good luck. These people are manipulative and controlling stay far away. I hope you are staying safe and they don't have the keys. NTA and block numbers of people who are abusing you. Also please I have heard too many horror stories. I am a POC myself from a community like this. Don't take a trip anywhere with them where they could potentially force you to get married to some stranger. NTA, how did your older sister even get into your condo? If she has a key, you might want to get your locks changed. Your mother didn't sacrifice. She raised you with the resources she had, which is what she was obligated to do as a parent. You don't owe her or your father anything for raising you. Cut them out of your life. They are toxic to you. You moved out for a reason. NTA, I grew up with a similar culture of arranged marriage and saving yourself for your husband wife, but your beliefs are your own, and as an adult your parents don't really get to have and say about your relationships and choices, if it's anything similar to mine, your parents won't apologize but you're in the right to demand it for disrespecting your and your partner's personal space. Not even remotely TA, I cut my parents from my life almost a decade ago due to similar problems. My mom passed on about 5 ago. I went to my mom in the hospital but didn't go to the funeral as my mom specifically prohibited us from holding a funeral for her. She wanted to go out with the party. The rest of my family spammed my phone. A few months later my father was in an accident. I didn't go to the hospital this time. I was at work and unable to as my employer wouldn't let me leave even had I wanted to I discussed it with him. I hadn't spoken to my dad in years due to abuse suffered as a child but my brothers and father's friends sure spammed my phone and called my work to yell at me for being ungrateful. The fact is since I removed those people from my life, I have had a harder time of it but I have been happier and healthier. At some point you need to decide what's best for you, how to make yourself as happy as you can. You only get one life. I am an atheist but if there was a god I sure can't believe they'd want us hating each other and ourselves so much. Can't imagine them wanting to limit our happiness either, unless somebody out there believes any god that hates us and wants us to hate them just as bad. NTA, your mother sacrificed a lot for you, so you can have the life you want, not the life she chooses. We don't bring humans into this world to control them, but because we love them regardless. If your family has a problem and can only love you on the condition that they control your life, maybe it's best to keep a little more distance, reduce contact and make clear that your life is yours and yours alone to live. NTA, but from the desperate way they are talking in the full access they apparently have to your home, you need to start taking some steps to protect yourself. Get a security camera and point it at the entrance of your home. Don't leave the country with any of them, not ever. For the next little while, try to limit the time that you go out in public alone. Tell your boyfriend and trusted friends where you plan on being and check in with them often. This sounds extreme, but if they're freaking out and think that they're losing their last grip on you, then you may well be in real danger. Better to be safe then sorry. NTA, it is a blunt disrespect of you as a person. The people closest to you are the ones who will have the hardest time with you changing and growing up because they think they know you. Especially with the toxic mindset your parents and sister have trying to treat you like a child or something they have control over. It is definitely okay to feel guilt. They are your parents and no matter how bad they treat you they are still the people who raised you and you love them. It takes a lot of rewiring to change them from your parents to other adults who need to treat you with the same respect they expect for themselves. 
animals. This is a good step in teaching your family if they want a relationship with you they will have to do it on your terms. Their terms are against the happiness of your life, which is one of the most deadly of sins in my book. You're 23 years old, so keep in mind you can't be forced to do anything you don't want to, especially by those who are trying to exercise some parental authority. If you end up making certain decisions it's ultimately because you chose to. That said, choosing not to apologize to these people and expecting that they treat you and your boyfriend with respect isn't an asshole move. It's the mark of a healthy boundary. Good for you for setting it. Sometimes, when dealing with family, it can be one of the hardest things to do. Your older sister might be too far gone, but hope Hopefully you and your youngest sister will be able to remain close. It sounds like she can absolutely benefit from a moderating influence like yours. People should be free to make their own decisions, right, wrong, or indifferent. As long as those decisions don't hurt themselves, bring negative consequences on others, and aren't illegal. Live your life by your choices. At the end of the day, you're the one who needs to own them. And if you're good with those choices, then I don't see how you can possibly be the asshole. Definitely NTA. NTA and I am confused that your little sister is not an adult so cannot opine on the situation but you're 6 years older and legally an adult but still can't have an opinion. What kind of logic is this? They should just acknowledge they don't value the opinions of their daughters. You are doing the right thing blocking them. Although also consider your younger sister and what you can want to do to help her in future. She is stuck at home with your parents and may want to say she agrees with them to keep the peace until she is 18. Could she move in with you then? I'll never accept the whole, I am your parent, I gave you life and I've done so much to raise you, so you owe me and should do what I want you to do. Argument. You didn't ask to be born. They chose to have kids. They don't own you just because they chose to have a kid and it was you. You're an adult. It's your life. It sounds like you're living on your own, so I am not sure what they can do about it if you decide to do what you want. I do exactly what you're doing right now and I have had to go to bat with friends and family about my BF. For different reasons, though, do what you need to do so that you are happy. A P. It's your life. N T A. The blood of the covenant is thicker than the water in the womb. NTA. Just because they are family means nothing. They need to respect your beliefs if they want a relationship with you. As for they did so much to raise you that's their choice. They should be pleased they have raised an independent thinker than a sheep. Find a groom so you would behave so he wants you to be a slave to some backwards think arsehole. It's 2021, not 1505 when you would have to be married off so your family can build a strong alliance with another kingdom. Seriously, keep up the relationship with your young sister but keep the rest out though be prepared for them saying you corrupted her thanks for watching consider subscribing for more videos